Minister of State of Home, Mr. Kiran Fikitu, Union Home Secretary, Mr. Anil Goswami, Sri, Sri Rajiputra, Secretary Joseph Ross, Dr. Chandra Muli, David McLaughlin, distinguished participants. Please allow me to present my heartfelt congratulations to the RGI and the Government of India for bringing us together to discuss data on youth. This will help us to focus on the needed investments for youth in India. UNFPA is honored to have the opportunity to partner with the government in working towards a brighter future for India's youth. Data on, develop on development is an important tool to understand the diverse and complex situation of youth and in enabling more informed policy making and to look what we have to invest in. For example, in the questions, what are the realities the young people in need are the highest? India has a historic window of opportunity to invest in youth. There are more young people in India than ever before. Adolescents make up 18% of the world's population. They are a powerful force, individually and collectively, shaping social and economic realities, challenging norms and values, and building the foundations of the world's future. It is this unprecedented number of adolescents that gives us urgency and policy power, power to the issue. It is therefore that the world population in this year draws the global attention to the importance of investing in youth. Adolescent and youth, three women aged 20-24, were married before the age of 18. In India, nearly half of the girls aged 20 to 24 were married before the age of 18. Complications due to pregnancy are a leading cause of death among girls and women of childbearing age worldwide. Globally, 16 million girls aged 15 to 18 give birth every year. One in four of these girls are living in India. And in India, we are losing nine girls every day in the age of 15 to 19 due to pregnancy complications. UNFPA looks forward to working with the government to expand its access to life skills education and to provide adolescent girls the resources to, to achieve health, delay marriage and childbearing, and create opportunities for employment. Because the proportion of the world's population now entering in reproductive years is historically high, adolescents are central to development agenda in, coming, in the coming two decades, particularly in developing countries. Every dollar spent on reproductive, maternal, newborn and child health interventions could generate benefits worth $20. With benefits of lower fertility due to planned and healthy childbearing, GDP per capita in India can go up 0.7%. It is for all the above reasons that UNFPA is calling for a youth goal to be included in the post-2015 development agenda. A sustainable future cannot be achieved without the investment of young people. India's role in development is most important. The MDGs cannot be reached without India's commitment. The new post-2015 framework cannot succeed if it doesn't reflect the aspiration of India's youth and the support of India's government. <clears throat> we hope that all the data on youth now put in one place, it will help us and it will help us and all the other stakeholders to support the critical investment needed in youth so that the potential of youth can be fully fulfilled. I thank you for all the